tonight with the red sauce? Pasta! Yes! <laughs> what? What's up y'all? Welcome back to the vlog. I'm gonna be really honest, today is not a great day. But it is a good day because we get to see baby girl, but I slept horrible last night. For some reason, 36 weeks, I'm 36 weeks today, so things are getting real. I had the worst, like, heartburn. I don't even know, like, why it randomly just really flared up, but it's... I was up for like, what, three hours last night? A long time, and I was up for- And Jared was just like, are you okay, are you okay? And I was like, no. I'm a little tired today. But it is still a good day, because I'm 36 weeks. We are headed to my prenatal and my ultrasound, which usually people don't get, you know, ultrasounds past a certain point, but we're lucky. We get to see her, and we're probably gonna get a really good idea on her birth weight and a lot of details, because I'm, I can go any day now just crazy like as soon as you hit 37 weeks you're basically full term so she is like she's got the green light to come whenever so that's really exciting so we're headed there now gonna go check up on this baby girl yeah there she is our little nugget look at those little fingers look at that little nose she looks so precious okay I'm gonna put y'all down because mama's tired. So yeah, my OB was on call today, so she had a lot going on. Little baby girl. We got to see her, guess how much she weighs? Six, 11. Six pounds, 11 ounces, and I'm 36 weeks. She's not gonna be a 10 pound baby. We're good with that, but she will be, they keep saying like mid seven or eight, but it's give or take a few. I think she'll probably be an eight pounder. I'm hoping to go close to our due date. <laughs> you never know, but it was all good. Everything looks amazing. She is measuring great. You're gonna be a little chunky chunk. I find this one little cheek picture. Oh, look at her cheek. Oh. We had our ultrasound and then I had a prenatal appointment right after, so we just went upstairs and I did my strep B. So for those who don't know, when you're like 36 weeks, they usually do a little swab for strep B. And then she also checked my cervix because we're going somewhere this weekend. We're going on a little last hurrah is like we want to call it. We're gonna go to Stowe with our friends and it's only like three hours away. So that's why she's okay with me going because it's very close. Like I can drive home to go to, into labor, um, which I probably won't, but we're, we're preparing just in case. We're bringing a hospital bag and everything and car seat. <laughs> Anyways, always get it checked by your doctor, but she is confident, but she checked my cervix. We are fully closed. We are good, um, but the head is, is engaged, which is awesome. So everything's on track. I mean, that was our, this is our last ultrasound before we get to see her. Which is crazy. Six pounds and 11 ounces. Hopefully she looks like you and not me. Shut up. What's up y'all? We are in Vermont on a little travel trip and we're here with a bunch of our friends um, from the team and just from around Foxborough and Boston and it's been a blast. We are at this place called Meadowstone Manor. I'm gonna put it all below for y'all where we're staying. It is incredible. Like this place is unbelievable. I get to wake up to that. Are you kidding me? Like what? And this room is so cute. I kind of gave y'all a little house tour at the beginning of this. But yeah, so we're here for the next few days and we're gonna go to a couple breweries tonight. Yes, I know, nine months pregnant at a brewery. Love that for me. But yeah, so we're just hanging, a lot of downtime and lots of babies around, which is so fun. I cannot wait for baby girl to be here and experience this next year with us possibly, but this place is 
absolutely incredible like we are like super secluded and in the mountains like there's amazing skiing around it's gorgeous can't wait to show y'all around we're gonna go to dinner in a few <laughs> Is that oh wow. <laughs> oh, no shoes. You don't have the oh, full no, fit on. Hey guys, MTV Cribs here. 14 bedroom. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> I could not. Going off. <laughs> Just like go out there and be like. <laughs> <laughs> Vibe. <laughs> like sit. Yeah. Okay. Woo! And we suck. <laughs> 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 put meat on it, but Yum. Ew. What's up, y'all? Good morning. We are headed to a brewery today. Do you know which one it's called? I can't remember the name of it, but very excited. Very excited. Positive energy. We had a hot tubbing and mimosa session, obviously. Not for me, but for them. <laughs> um, got ready, and now we're about to head out. It's around noon, so... The rain stopped, noon. which is The rain stopped. Huge. It was supposed to be like a muggy day, but it, it's honestly perfect, yeah. I think. So. I think the sun's coming out. You were right. Kennedy told us to keep I the called faith. it. You gotta keep the faith. It's my middle name. Pan around, pan around. I know. Look at this. We kept the faith. It's kind of a nice day. Bump suit. <laughs> cute little jacket and leather. Oh. Oh. Y'all, this wallpaper is to die for. So oh my god, your shoes are so cute. They're already covered in mud. Uh, same. I'm gonna be wearing the same ones like that. We will take y'all along. We're very excited. Okay, y'all, we just got back from the brewery. We went to this place called Von Trapp brewery and it was so dope it was so cool and then we got to see like the estate so it was like it was really cool but it was really fun and tonight we just have a chef coming to cook for us so it's gonna be a chill night and we're all just gonna hang out and have some family dinner and hang with the babies and enjoy this house for the last night that we get it but super excited we're having pasta so your girl is very excited and very happy about that. Luckily, the weather has held up. Like, it hasn't rained. I knew it wasn't going to. I had faith. So we're just gonna go chill and hang out until dinner is ready. Can you please explain what your concoction is? Yeah, so we have Woodford. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Woodford, uh, we have some grilled lemons dipped in sugar. I so wish you that. had the lemons still, but oh well. They're in the garbage. This is grilled lemon caramelized sugar, right? Yep, yeah. and then we're gonna actually put them on the cast iron. Honey bear honey? Honey bear, baby. honey bear honey? Oh my god. It's clever honey. First from Vermont. A maple syrup, brown sugar, um, no, 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 lemon. brown sugar. Oh, sorry, sorry. You know? Yeah. We grilled the lemons. Okay. Then dipped dipped in, sugar, in sugar. Let them caramelize. Oh my god. You need more alcohol, yeah. I feel like. Shake it, 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 shake it. Shake it like a fucking <laughs> I don't know. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Chris, Chris, thank you. <laughs> Chef Chris, at it again. I mean, that's good. Yeah, that's perfect. Delicious. Yes! Yes! <laughs> what? yes! Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. There you go. Mm. Ooh. How good is it? Ooh. It's good. And? Mm. Oh my god, I'm so jealous. Getting it ready. Ooh, she's 
she killed it. I don't know if I like the side one. You said this is your grandmother's recipe? It sure is. Wow. That's when you know it's good. The sous chef's helping. <laughs> Are you the waiter? Uh, I'm all of the above. Okay. Uh, David. <laughs> Some olive oil and that's it. Mm. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. What? <laughs> hey, what do we have tonight with the red sauce? Pasta! Yes! What? 